Creating the Dream PKN account from level 3, episode 4. Today is the day we're going to go PKN on our first build with a Dragon Crossbow. So we need to get ourselves level 80 ranged. We left the video with 6.6 mil, so we've only got a few mil more to go. Here's a quick show of the bank. Looking pretty newbie, but we're going to continue at revs and hopefully make bank. Successful trip, 300k. Oh, what the hell? Oh my god. I just got seven magic seeds. That is so rare. My mouth was just like open, like shocked. What the hell? Yeah, it's, it's a very rare drop. It's the same chance of getting the high level emblems, four mil, eight mil, and 16 mil. So I got the worst one out of the very rare, but I cannot complain. That is so sick. And it's worth 1.4 mil if you couldn't see the chat. Good thing about being a low level, when the high level PKs get other PKs, I can loot stuff, for example and they clear the worlds. Successful trip, 277k, but for the extra things I looted, 350k. Oh damn, very, very clutch. 300k loot. Oh, Ancient Totem, nice. Wow, I don't know whether my luck's insane or if this is just normal, but that is sick. This is how the bank is looking like now. I'm gonna sell most of it and buy something. Look at that beautiful site right there. 3.6 mil cash plus the blowpipe, which means we can buy back the Robin Hood hat, which gives an extra six accuracy as opposed to the coif. I'm gonna bank every time I get 300k or so, another 372k. Also, I'm flipping. May as well put the cash to good use, I guess. So as you can see, that was a really good flip. I made 100k. So to be honest, I might as well sell a lot of this and yeah, flip. I'm going to change it up a bit. I'm going to do some easy clue scrolls and see if we can snipe some of the good rewards. The pages are really, really cheap, but there are some items, very few items, which do go for a lot. So we'll just test out our luck, I guess. Two steps. First reward, 2.6k. Number two. Originally for easy clue scrolls, I was blowpiping thugs in Edgeville Dungeon. With a Ring of Wealth I 1 in 64 drop rate, but it just took too long, so I'm gonna get 20 Thieving and do hand members. Level 5, let's head to Ardy. Steal some cake. There we go, level 20 Thieving. Let's go get some easy clues. And number 3. I go to the hand dungeon and realized I got clue scroll from that clue scroll. Not bad. I was really confused for a second. It's a master clue scroll. Wow, okay. Um we'll have to save that for another time when we're a higher level. Number four. Okay, first pay. Okay, that's that's good. See what I mean? 323k. That's what we're talking about. Only four clue scrolls. It's one of the better ones. Number five, back to back. Thank you very much. Has anyone ever equipped a black longsword in the history of RuneScape? Number six. Seven. Eight. Nine. Ooh, I can catch your G. It's 200k. We'll take it. That's actually one of the good rewards because some of these items, like the gold trim, are literally like 5k. Wow. 11, 12, 13, 14, 20 to 30 thieving so far. I mean, it's not bad because I'm going to need to train thieving anyway. I've had to drop about four so far just because of the steel requirements. Number 15, 16, 17, 18. We hit another rare item. I got excited. Iron plate body G is the expensive one. 600k that would have been. And this one's only 30k. Number 20, this will be the last one for now. Here's the loot tab. Oh yeah, I collected some of the expensive ham items and polished buttons and stuff like that. So I've scored two of the good items, 735k. I don't know why, but polished buttons are actually selling for 4k each. Look how much I'm selling the ham stuff for. Armadale paid sold for 366k, 200k for the iron kite shield. Not too shabby. I just price checked this, and I actually have enough for a dragon crossbow. The dragon crossbow is 9.5 mil. So I'm going to sell this and all we need to do now is train range to 80 and we can finally go PK on our first build. We've upgraded the gear, we've now got an archer's ring. Let's get training, this is going to take quite a while. I've got 400k XP, around 10 hours. There it is, a very, 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 very long time later we are finally 80 ranged. And there it is, the beautiful dragon crossbow has been bought. I've got 1.6 mil still to spend. I got a really good flip before, I'm going to cover it up because I'm going to do it again. I made 400k on it, so let's buy our supplies. So why the dragon crossbow and not just a light ballista? I just prefer the crossbow. Plus we have Dragonstone Dragon Bolt E, so we do have the chance of hitting a D-Bolt spec if they're not anti-fired. And the dragon crossbow over the rune crossbow because 
it has that spec bar so we can instant the dragon throne axe straight after so our max hit with 80 range is a 32 and if we get a d-ball it can hit a 50 and then the dragon throne axe can hit a 19 as well i really don't expect to make money because most people this level are gmolers pretty much 90 percent of people but as long as i keep my dragon crossbow and i don't get smited for it i'm happy but it'd be rude not to pk on a pure on the way to the range tank but straight after this, we're going straight for the Voider. How much are we risking? 100k. That's actually quite a lot for a Pierre. GL, we have our first official 1v1 fight. Is that it already? That's it already. Boom. Okay, that's actually better than I thought, but it's only one fight. And what I'm actually going to do, I'm going to pick up all those supplies. I'm going to bank everything and pick it all up because I need all the money right now because the supplies are actually worth more than the loot itself. All right. So just by picking up the extra supplies, 22k and that's without prayer pots, brews or anything. That's just sharks. Just don't get smited. I'm so scared of losing this because I'll lose everything. All right. Survived the Gmol. Now where? Uh, oh, he's got an obby mate. Nah, the oh, he'll have protect item most likely. Oh, I got him. Nice. Do I get a zombie mall, please? Yes, we peek at a zombie mall. 173 amethyst arrows. How much is that loot? 348k. For a pure, that is a lot of money. We're actually making profit, which I'm very surprised about so far. I think I might be underestimating this account, to be honest. Obviously, G mallers have one huge big KO potential, which they can one hit me with, but I have four little ones. And after I've used my spec, I've still got big KO potential. Well, bigger than theirs, anyway. Yep, there we go, good fight. Nice Gmall PK. 64k. All we gotta do is tank the first Gmall spec, anticipate it come in, try to get the P neck on. Once we survive that, should be good. I mean, obviously they could still kill me with a Gmall, but that's the scariest bit over and done with. This guy is one prayer, which means he is risking the Dragon Scimitar and whatever spec weapon he's got, DDS or Gmall. Don't see this too often, DSIM to DDS. It's the combo everyone used to use back in the day though. Yet to get a D-Ball spec. Could be it. Oh, okay. Nice. I think that's a decent. Yep, there we go. Boom. Beautiful stuff. Pretty much 100k. Oh, D bolt. 45. Let's go. Oh, that was sick. We finally got the D bolt spec. This is why I love crossbow to dragon throne axe. I just love it. Rematching the dude with a decent. That is definitely it, surely. He's risking it. Nope. That's gotta be it. Huge XP drops. Nice. Another decent PK. Gonna fight with a guy with a bronze chain body, a bronze med helm, and a cabbage cape. Very interesting. No! I'm a moron. What the hell was that? Okay, well, we went down for the first time. But I went down to a- that, that was so dumb. Level 60 Voider. Interesting. Let's go. Just don't have smite. That'd be great. Go for the, uh, like, three hit. Oh, almost. I could have actually Dragon Throne axed him there. This is going to be sick loot, but he's going to wreck me. Full HP. Oh, there we go. Got him. I BK'd on one of those accounts before. They're really good, but they have really, really low HP. So you just get wrecked. Anglerfish. 56 rune knives. No! I didn't lose my loot. I just lost the loot I was picking up. Yeah, I just looked up his stats. He was only 56 HP and he was eating anglerfish. If you don't already know, anglerfish are scaled off your HP, so it'll hardly heal anything. Free DDS, maybe? Yep. That's gotta be it. Yes, 40k. Let's go. That's gotta be it. Good fight. This guy's risking an obby mall and will only fight me if I get some risk. So I got 150k cash. So it's my first ever risk fight. 250k. And there we go. That's what we need. Obby mall PK. This guy's back. I guess we're rematching. Good luck. Okay, he got me. 
GG. I was only risking 100k. This guy's risking an obby mall, so we've got 150k cash. Let's go. Yes, we got an obby mall. Good fight. Wait, what? No, what? What? Wait, I just got a berserker necklace. What? The guy was 31 prayer. I asked him what happened and he said he didn't have protect item on quick prey. Rip. I literally thought I was gonna lose money pure PKing, but we've made so much money. We're making profit anyway, but that berserker necklace just finishes it off. I'm gonna stop there whilst I'm doing insane, sell all the loot and most of the supplies. I've fully organized the bank. Cash in the first tab, teleport tab, potions and food. Got a blowpipe, some scales, some darts. Skilling if you could. Easy glue scrolls and a junk tab. Started the video with 6.7 mil. And we now have 16 mil. Started peaking with maybe 11.8 mil. So we made over 4 mil from peaking. So the next video, the account is going to make some serious progression into a voider.